Do you like reading classroom of the elite like novels or do you like reading novels in general? Do you consider yourself a book lover? Yes. Well, then have you read Sleeping Beauty? No. Then can you even consider yourself a book lover? Well, that's what K said. So, what the heck am I talking about? Okay, well if you remember then there was a discussion about Aina Koji K short story at the time of the release of year 2 volume 7 and honestly I thought it was coming in October but that doesn't seem to be the case. Some time ago we got the short story and as you would expect it was short but it was really good. Good in a way that it was fun to read. So for those of you who don't know what it was about This short story takes place before the cultural festival happened. More specifically, the day Ainokoji's class agreed to make the maid cafe their main event. You know when Horikita said that everyone can come up to her with ideas about the events in cultural festival, and this is about an idea that Kei had, but she was too shy to suggest it to anyone. And then she tells Ainokoji her idea, and his reaction, well, go ahead and read it yourself. This was translated by Cinnamon Translations so I have linked their website in description and for those of you who prefer the PDF or EPUB version there are also links for those in the description so go ahead and read it and do tell me your favorite moments from this short story and a really really short summary of it would be that Kei was really embarrassed even when she was talking about it with Aina Koji and then Aina Koji started thinking that Kei is sometimes low on private points so she should have suggested it there's no harm in that but little did he knew so then Kei asks him about whether he has read fairy tales to which he said yes But then the conversation goes about how Aina Koji hasn't read very common fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood and Sleeping Beauty etc and then comes my favorite part when Kei tells him that she wanted to have a play of Sleeping Beauty with her being the princess and Aina Koji being the prince and Aina Koji's reaction was what I enjoyed a lot and it also gave us a bit of insight on Aina Koji's character which was really great so do let me know your thoughts on it and I will see you all in the next one